Ledger's platform can be used for electricity trading across regulated networks, as well as within buildings such as apartment buildings or office buildings. The Gen Y demonstration housing project that Landcorp embarked on um, last year basically set to um, see a, an architect design house that responded to the requirements or needs of the Gen Y generation. It's going to be in Australia first for doing an apartment building with the solar and batteries on strata and developing a governance framework that can uh, make that a reality. There's three apartments within this development and we're putting in 9 kilowatts of solar PV and a 10 kilowatt hour battery. Within the Gen Y apartments, we're looking to reduce grid electricity consumption by 60% and reduce overall electricity consumption by 30% compared against Perth norms. We always knew we had to have a more renewable future, but the holy grail was storage. How do you get the storage to work? Uh, it was always too expensive and not very safe, but this is safe and cheap. If you can begin to demonstrate wealth improvements, livability improvements and footprint reductions, that's the big agenda for our generation. recent news coverage about PowerLedger's peer-to-peer -peer trading trial in Bustleton, Western Australia. Bob and Margaret Logan got into solar early at their home in Bustleton, signing up when the government offered a generous rebate for feeding excess energy back onto the grid. But the scheme has since been scaled back. Once the, the contract actually runs out that we have currently signed, we are not sure what the future holds for that, for that contract if anything, or if we would go back to the, the seven cents rate. Under new Synergy contracts, solar panel owners are paid much less. Now, Perth-based company PowerLedger has created a way to undercut Synergy, enabling solar panel owners to sell their excess power to neighbours for less than the utility charges. We're all already hooked up with this gear, so we know once the trading scheme starts, at least we can get something for it. The actual expenses in it for pensioners are increasing all the time and the, the income coming in is decreasing. Theoretically, it would work like this. Bob would sell his excess power for 20 cents a kilowatt hour. He would pocket 15 cents, more than double what Synergy would pay for it. The remaining 5 cents then goes to Western Power to pay for its poles and wires. And Power Ledger takes a small cut. That spiralling up of network charges that falls to people who are still connected to the network and can't afford to pay for PV and batteries themselves, we're avoiding that because they're able to participate despite not being able to afford putting the PV on their roof. Under the system, Bob's excess power still goes into the energy grid. Meanwhile, Des down the road still gets his power from the same network. The smart part is how the new technology calculates who to charge for the power and who to pay. At the moment, the new peer-to-peer -peer trading system is still a trial. If successful, it could begin operating for real within months. Catherine Dis, ABC News.